the big city Johannesburg. I came here two weeks ago. I didn't know that I would get robbed. That was a scary moment. I knew about the crime rate here in Johannesburg, but I was naive. I thought, what if I can be like the karate kid and just show off my skills? What if I would have been able to protect myself in matters like these? But it just left me in distress and with no phone. Here's my story. So, week two in Johannesburg and I get robbed. I was like, Josie girl, here I am. 2022 is becoming 2022.0, like literally. So yeah, and then they try calling. When they call, it says, you have reached the voicemail lines. I'm like, aye. And then the shop was like, beep, beep, beep. The security guards come running. I'm like, well, I just lost my phone right now. So please, you can follow me if you want. So yeah, firstly, Hello guys, and welcome to this channel called Journey of Becoming by your host, Siam Tanda Goma. And yeah, so today I am here to vent. If you are not in a state of mind where you are able to listen to the story because it's going to trigger you in any way, shape or form, I understand that you can click out. But if you are here, if you are an angel, if you are a regular degular, okay, I should stop copying other influencers because that's not the vibes here. So, yeah, guys, please make sure to watch, like, um, comment, and also subscribe. I feel like I need some candles in the comment section down below just to make me feel better because I get karate. Well, I am in a better position than I was three days ago because that's when it happened. But, yeah, anyway, let's get on to this. So, guys, I am originally from the Eastern Cape. Some of you may know that. And I came to Johannesburg um, to study um, at WIT, so University of Swaziland. So I came here, and yeah, in my mind, I was like, girls are the girls, and the girl, I think I am. You know, whom are you? I am me. Who are you? I am a juicy girl. I even have shades on. Where are my shades? Let me find them. Okay, these are definitely not them, but I think they work. What do you do? You can't do nothing to me. Rob me? No. Like, me? I was wrong. So wrong. So, okay guys, let me tell you what happened. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Because I initially, like, I was like, you know what? Let me just make a video for you guys. And just explain what happened. So, yeah. Let's just do this. Guys, <laughs> and then the man come back and they like when they come back, okay, yeah, because guys, like honestly, Mindy Crusty, the one who was born born and the one about okay, poof, okay, no, go like I wasn't like this, like in my room, I was crying, and bear in mind, guys, I don't understand. It, <laughs> 2022 is becoming 2022.0 like literally 2020 and 2021 mixed okay guys so here's the story so i am a person that hates inconvenience i if i am able to do something out on my own i will if i'm able to go to a certain place without asking not really for permission but without needing to beg yeah, I think without needing to beg you or communicate with you, um, I just do it on my own. So I'm a very hands-on person. Um, I hate inconvenience and I hate being inconvenienced as well. So I went to the mall. I initially wanted like groceries and stuff. So I was like, you know what? Not groceries, like stationaries. Um, yeah, so I went to the shop. I needed some highlighters. I needed some clothes for school as well because uh, uh, people dress differently here in Johannesburg. It's not the same, baby. But there's literally no pressure because nobody really cares about you here except when they rob you. But I just wanted to, you know, not fit in. That sounds so wrong, but I guess I said it. I just wanted to fit in and just be a part of, you know, something and not... And not be an outcast. I feel like, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about being an outcast. I'm gonna talk about being an outcast on my other videos. But 
So the girl when stationery shopping, yeah, I'm going like this now. I, I, I go and I go to three different stores. Fine. Um, I can't find highlighters. Um, at the mall that I'm in, more than I'm in, it's in Newtown. Yeah, Newtown Mall. So I go there and I'm like, you know what? Let me just find some clothes because I can't find these highlighters and they don't have like CNN or PNA like those stationery shops. Fine, I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's okay. I will just fit my clothes on and just look for the highlighters afterwards, after I've done my, you know, my thrifting, my thrifting session. So I go to these um, three different shops and yeah, I'm picking outfit, I'm picking outfit. Anyway, I went to the shop and then uh, I get in, I have everything that I need, I have my phone, I have my wallet. Inside my wallet is my ID as well as my card like all my personal details and um, I have my account number behind my phone So I'm like whenever like someone says oh, I'm gonna send you money and then I can just send them my account number so yeah, I go to these shops and then first shop in and out fine. I still have my phone second shop in and out fine I still have my phone third shop go in I go into the fitting room and I look for my phone to actually take a picture to send to my sister and my mom so that they can like validate me if these look cute or not. Yeah. So yeah, that happens and then Hi <laughs> gosh. So that happens and then Okay, this is uncomfortable. Can you stop? <laughs> so that happens and then guys um i'm losing my my, my 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 train of thought so i go to the shop and then i i, I fiddle for my phone and then i am um, bear in mind i'm wearing an outfit that only has one pocket so i look i'm like and i'm even creating pockets right now i'm like what no and then i call this girl i'm like girl please help me i see a girl like, please help me like I can't find my phone and bear in mind prior to that like I'm skipping prior to that guys like th there was this woman that was bumping me like oh god and she bumped me again and she's like ah ah like in, in another language she's like oh my gosh no like this this is a symbol of something uh, you know like those people that have strong strong um, those spiritual people, man, like, I'm also spiritual, but, like, those people that think, like, everything happens for a reason, well, I'm one of those people, but, yeah, she was, like, saying something like that, but in another language, not in my home language, which, which is Isikosa. So, she's like, no, man, hey, we're bumping for a specific reason, I don't know why. Kanti. Kanto tatifenyam. Kanti. But, no, I didn't realize, you understand, I think. Yes, guys, I don't know, like, so much happened that day. And then now I'm looking for my phone. This girl comes in. She looks, she helps me look for my phone. And she's like, girl, no, I can't find it. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, like, for goodness sake, it's the third month. Like, this happened and it was Feb. So, trauma? Why? In the beginning of the year, like, really? Can, can you just, Hema, can you just wait a second? Can I just settle into 2022 because i'm tired like i'm tired and i don't understand why chaos has to be happening but like Abel. Abel. and i go out of the shop wearing like that outfit i was like gonna take pictures of and then the shop was like bah, bah, bah. the security guards come running i'm like well, I just lost my phone right now, so please, you can follow me if you want to. Ah! And then I run, I run, I run, I run, I run. I go to all these, like, shops that I went to prior to these shops. And then, like, security guards are running after me from um, the shop that I was at. And they're like, everyone was, like, looking at me. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm never going to find my phone with this much attention right now. Because now the person is aware that, okay, I've realized that they've stolen my phone so yeah and then they try calling when they call it says you have reached the voicemail apps i'm like i i okay and then but i'm i'm in disbelief 
And then I'm like, no man, no man, my phone is here, I misplaced it, no one can steal it because I'm the naive girl that comes from Kabeha that's like, you know what, no man, like I've never, never ever got robbed, so why now? Like I've misplaced it. And then this woman says, hi, Banjonji Lemtana, Bingam, Banjonji. I'm like, did you steal it? Because now I'm full of cringe. Stop. Please stop. Literally. And then, I'm like, ah, oh, bunch on you. I'm like, oh. And then I go to all these other shops. They call. I'm like, please call my number. Please call my number. And then they're like, hi, sister. Hi. Yeah, I'm like, did you take it? Did you steal it? Then keep on calling. I don't. Keep on calling, sir. Please. I'm panicking. And then, yeah, that happens. And then I didn't find my phone. And then, guys, I cry so much because I realized that my Bolt app was in there. And, like, the only thing I want to do now is get home. And uh, bear in mind, I live on campus. So if I get home, I'm getting home to who? I'm still going to be alone in that home. And I came home, guys. I asked, oh, the manager actually called the Bolt for me. And then she was asking, do you still have money? Da, da, da. She's like, no, my baby, come back. Come back. And then when you, when you shop here again, we're going to have we're gonna have some dinner and just relax, please. Um, I'm like, girl, please. Like, I feel like she felt so bad. And she kept on saying, like, these things, like, regularly happen. And, um, yeah. So, moral of the story in Journey of Becoming is that such things happen. Life happens. So I feel like for the past three days, I've been able to adapt. I've been able to find a way to be okay with what is happening. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So what I wanted to say is here on Journey of Becoming, guys, this is just a testimony that God was with me throughout all of that incident because nothing physical happened to me but i feel like i was supposed to go through this in order like it wasn't an event stipulated to hurt me but it was an event like for for cautiousness to be aware to be on the lookout and to actually not trust anyone whenever i'm walking alone and i feel like it's still in my head right now because guys i've been craving mcdonald's but I can't go out like alone, like I can, but it's that I'm scared, you know, like the thing is, I'm a mastermind of my mind. I didn't feel anything. That's the thing. So if now I just go and then I come back and then the worst happens, then what, you know? So like, I'm, I'm literally scared. Yeah, I feel like that's how to put it and I'm in shock but at the end of the day life goes on and I am really really proud of the way that I reacted because whenever like when that happened I immediately like went home I came back the only thing that was on my mind is my schoolwork like that is the only thing like how am I gonna get my schoolwork and from that point on I was like you know what see I, it's just a phone but if you are able to like get your email right in order for you to receive your work then that's fantastic there is nothing else you should be worried about it is just a phone Two, i remember my account number is behind my pouch did i not run to Stellar's bank like i tried calling them the previous night and then they didn't answer so i woke up early in the morning um and that day thank god i wasn't alone in my room god immediately sent a roommate somebody to actually like accompany me or somebody to 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 talk to you know about what's happening so she was just an angel that came and that's why i'm calling you guys angels my subscribers i'm calling you angels because i feel like we are so connected i feel like we are you know we are a team this is life this is this is a journey so whatever we are going through we are going through it together you know yeah because nothing works in isolation 
that's what I've actually realized that you need a community with you some way shape or form so yeah like everything leading up to that moment and my thing is oh guys I go to Stella's bank ask for my account I'm like oh the, the line was so full and then I'm like so there was this man like asking what are you here for do you need assistance we are outside like the, the, the Stella's bank is not open yet and that actually tells you how long I've actually been there so I'm like I got robbed yesterday and my account number is behind my pouch so I just want to get an information like I want to to know can they do anything um uh, as well as I want to block all notifications and stuff. So yeah, 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 that happened I don't want to reveal a lot at this moment, but yeah guys, I'm fine Even if I got robbed these are the experiences of life, I guess so Yeah, hopefully I don't think I'm getting a phone soon um, But I have faith that I will get a phone um, I don't know when I don't know how but God always makes a plan and I will update you guys. So yeah, this is this was like a life update slash I got robbed slash mental journal, mental, you know. But yeah guys, um I hope you are well and safe at home. Make sure to like, comment and become an angel by hitting that red subscribe button. It is free. You are welcome because uh, I don't want you to be missing any content from me. Okay? Because I'm coming with fire with bullets with okay <laughs> but yeah guys thank you very much for watching i will see you on my next video hopefully it's gonna be a joyful video okay trust bye guys